everyone and welcome to this short video overview of what's new in Vantage 2 Update 3. I'll start with a highly requested feature which was the support for blend or layered materials. We also added support for the multi mat render element, useful for masking in post, and a view filter for light gizmos. I'm also going to mention a few UX improvements that we added. In this video I'm using an exterior scene from Evermotion. Let's start live link. And the first thing you'll see is an icon of 3ds Max in the status bar. We added this indication to point out from where the live link is coming. Also, in the preferences, we added a setting that improves the desktop responsiveness. This improves the responsiveness of other running applications at the expense of slightly reduced performance in Vantage. When enabled, this feature is also indicated in the status bar. I should note that this feature is also available from the offline rendering render setup over here and that is useful if you want to use the computer while Vantage is running in the background or rendering in the background. Alright, I'm going to make sure that Vantage is always on top. I'm going to maximize the interface and resize the window like that. Okay, to demonstrate the support of blend materials, we'll examine the asphalt material here. I've already set up a blend material and I'm going to turn on the first layer. It simulates skid marks and it's a dark diffuse material with a mask on top of it. To highlight it I'm going to throw in some self-illumination uh, with red color and let's edit the masking texture which is a gradient with some noise and uh, adjusting the gradient flags here. Alright, let's bring it back to the black color. All right. Next I'm going to turn on the puddle layers. There are two layers. One is for slightly sharper uh, and more uh, glossy type of uh, puddles. And the other one makes the asphalt uh, wet and it keeps the bump uh, or the roughness of the uh, asphalt itself. The two layers are masked by the same noise texture and by manipulating its parameters we get varying blend between puddles and wet road. I can sharpen the puddles like this or spread them all out so that we get nicer transition between the wetness of the road and uh, the puddles themselves. Alright, that was just one example of the very blend material in use but I'm sure you will come up with many more. For the next feature I'm going to stop the live link and export the scene into standalone Vantage. If I switch to selection or transformation tool you will see the clutter of lights in the center makes it very difficult to interact with the scene. To improve this we added a view filter that hides the light gizmos. By default you can use the G key to toggle this on and off. And finally in the exported VRE scene there was a multi mat render element which you can see at the top of the scene outliner. Selecting it will bring out its parameters, but you won't be able to see the objects because they were set using the object IDs and these are still not shown in Vantage. I'm going to create a new multimat and rename it appropriately to show you how to set it up from scratch. I'm also adding two objects in the red and the green channel and I'm going to make sure that I render to EXR, enable the multimat passes and render. If we expand the multimats, we can see the masks appropriately. One layer for the road and one layer for the cars. And that wraps up this video. I hope you like the new features. Thanks for watching and take care.